Have you noticed your Edge browser looking a lot like Chrome lately? Microsoft's latest update is another step in turning Edge into something almost identical to Google's browser. Microsoft Edge, once the bold successor to Internet Explorer, is now almost indistinguishable from the very competitor it was meant to challenge. Google Chrome. Welcome to the world of Chromification, a deliberate and strategic shift where Microsoft has re-engineered, rebranded, and redesigned Edge to mimic, mirror, and in some ways outpace Chrome. But at what cost? In this video, we're going deep. We'll explore how Microsoft's embrace of the Chromium engine reshaped the foundation of Edge, turning it from a unique product into something eerily familiar. We'll look at how the interface, the features, and even the browser settings have gradually evolved to resemble Google Chrome, with AI tools, tab grouping, performance tweaks, and mobile UI decisions that feel less like innovation and more like imitation. But that's just the beginning. Because underneath the surface, something more concerning is happening. Microsoft is using aggressive, often hidden, tactics to keep you from switching browsers. From default settings buried deep in Windows, to subtle warnings and nudges when you try to download Chrome, to AI-based pop-ups promoting Edge's superiority, this isn't just design convergence. This is ecosystem control. And governments are noticing. Complaints from competitors like Opera are hitting regulatory desks in the EU and Brazil. Allegations of unfair practices, browser lock-in, and anti-competitive design choices are mounting, and they could reshape how software companies are allowed to operate in a post-regulation era. Buckle up, because we're about to dissect the hidden layers of Microsoft's chromification of Edge, why it matters, and where this browser war might be headed next. 1. Edge is becoming more like Chrome. Microsoft Edge now closely mirrors Google Chrome in both appearance and functionality. This shift began when Microsoft adopted the Chromium engine, the same one Chrome uses. As a result, Edge now offers similar rendering, performance, and support for Chrome extensions. The settings menu and general UI have also been redesigned to more closely resemble Chrome, including recent updates to Edge's mobile interface. Users have noticed the convergence, often commenting that Edge no longer feels distinct and instead seems like a reskined version of Chrome. 2. AI features are matching Google's. Edge is integrating advanced AI features similar to those found in Chrome. Microsoft has added tools like Copilot Mode, an assistant that can analyze content, summarize pages, and perform smart actions. Additionally, Edge now supports on-device AI models, allowing web apps to use local processing for faster, more private AI tasks. This mirrors Google's push to integrate AI directly into Chrome. This transformation goes far deeper than just surface-level UI. At its foundation, Microsoft Edge has been built on Chromium, the open-source browser engine developed and maintained by Google. By adopting Chromium in 2019, Microsoft effectively abandoned its own proprietary Edge HTML engine, a decision that has had lasting implications for the web ecosystem. While this move brought immediate technical benefits, such as improved speed, better support for modern web standards, and compatibility with Chrome extensions, it also meant Microsoft ceded a significant amount of influence over the direction of browser technology to Google. In practice, this has meant that Edge now renders pages, handles JavaScript, and processes tabs in nearly the same way Chrome does, making it more a sibling than a competitor in technical terms. This has led critics to argue that Edge no longer innovates meaningfully at the foundational level, but instead adds a layer of Microsoft-branded features and integrations atop what is essentially a repackaged Chrome. Microsoft's apparent strategy with Edge now revolves around retention, ecosystem integration, and subtle platform lock-in, rather than pure innovation or user experience. The company has embedded Edge deeply into the Windows operating system, often making it the default browser even after users attempt to set alternatives like Chrome or Firefox. Attempts to change the default browser often require navigating multiple menus, ignoring persistent pop-up messages, or disabling system-level settings. In some cases, even clicking web links from Windows features, such as the taskbar search or widgets, 
will forcibly open Edge regardless of the user's default preference. This behavior has sparked widespread criticism, with some labeling it dark pattern design, and others going so far as to compare it to monopolistic practices from the Internet Explorer era. The recent UI change fits into this broader strategy. By making Edge look and feel almost identical to Chrome, Microsoft lowers the barrier for Chrome users to switch, or stay, especially in enterprise environments where Windows is already the dominant platform. For casual users who may not be deeply technical, the visual similarities may cause them not to even notice which browser they're using, reinforcing Microsoft's subtle control over the user experience. At the same time, Microsoft promotes Edge through aggressive in-browser marketing. If a user types Chrome into Bing, for instance, they'll often be presented with banners urging them to stick with Edge, highlighting features like free VPN, AI-powered browsing, better battery life, and Microsoft Rewards points. These prompts are not just suggestive, they're often difficult to dismiss, creating a sense of friction that deters users from completing the switch to a different browser. The introduction of AI-powered features into Edge has also been framed as a competitive differentiator. Microsoft has integrated its Copilot AI, powered by its Azure-hosted language models, into Edge as a sidebar assistant that can summarize pages, answer queries, generate text, and even analyze documents. While on paper this provides value, the execution has been inconsistent. Users often report that these features feel bolted on, clutter the interface, or slow down performance, especially on lower-end systems. Critics argue that the overemphasis on AI and Microsoft services further distracts from Edge's core functionality as a browser. In essence, Microsoft seems to be leveraging Edge as a delivery vehicle for its broader ecosystem, rather than focusing on making Edge a best-in-class browser on its own merits. Meanwhile, this aggressive convergence strategy has not gone unnoticed by regulators and competitors. Companies like Opera and Brave have lodged formal complaints with antitrust authorities in the EU and Brazil, alleging that Microsoft's practices limit consumer choice and stifle fair competition. These complaints cite not just Edge's design and UI similarities to Chrome, but also how tightly integrated Edge is into Windows 11, how difficult it is to remove or replace, and how Microsoft nudges users back to its browser at every opportunity. These practices raise questions under the EU's Digital Markets Act and similar global legislation, which are designed to prevent gatekeepers like Microsoft from unfairly privileging their own services over competitors. So, what do you think? Is Edge evolving into a better Chrome, or just losing its identity trying to compete? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this breakdown helpful, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.